Hey guys, Prudy here, welcome back to Deadliest Catch Alaskan Storm. Here we are for brand new season start, Apelio season. 44 hours and 14 minutes till the season starts, but I can actually get out of here and out to the big wide world of the big ocean out here. The Bering Sea. Um, let's have a look at Everyone else has sort of taken off already. So, looks like there's plenty of Apelio up here, but if we go up here, there's plenty of risk that you know, we're going to end up um, potentially sinking the boat. So, let's maybe head like over to here. See how people go, see if we can get some clear, clear running. So, I don't know. Uh, boats, crabs, pots. I don't know. Obviously, these are different darkness because it's different depths and stuff. But is that better spot than this? Quite sure. We don't want to do that. No. Drag our boat like up here. Um, something like that, I guess. Alright, fast forward our time, so we've got about three hours to go. Make sure there's no dramas with the boat, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Well, let's quickly go like this. Run, still sleeping. Um, for best speed right back. So we've got nine hours to go, so let's still fast forward a little bit of time. So we need to set these pots, let them sit for you know 36 or so hours. Right, nothing wrong yet. Everyone else has sort of just come out here and just sat out here waiting in this war. But only Marie's going to be in trouble if that ice gets any further south. Certainly be in trouble. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's go. So let's set our course this way. Okay. Auto set, we want to set our self to 4.5 knots, which is about uh, 480 something. 480, that'll do. Alright, let's go set pots, guys. Let's get out of bed. Should be walking in any time soon. Let's put a boat right over here, which is. Sea Star. Hopefully that won't affect us too much. So I don't know if we should set the whole string down. The whole string of 80. Um, that maybe come back. Oh, we need to slow down a little bit. We haven't got as much weight on board, so we need to slow down a little bit. Um, actually, then again, because we're not really. Um, Having to set a certain speed because we're picking them up, we're setting them down, so we can go a little bit quicker if we like. Right, first pot of the season, throw him in. Get all these guys set, so if we get. Um, what is it? 16 pots set. This run, we could possibly head back down. Maybe. Get another. Another set of pots. Possibly, I don't really know if we can get away with it, but I guess we can only try. It's already half an hour in, we've only got one body pot in the water. So the boat is still quite close to us. Alright, come on guys, hurry up. So where's Mike? There's Mike there, I should say. There's Mike with the helmet, or the helmet, the hat on. Let's have a look. So they're a little bit closer than we were last season, but I'll still be alright. So I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to put all 16 pots down in the one spot and then possibly go back and get more. I don't really know, to be honest. 
by the time we set these out and let them soak for 48 hours, you know, we've got plenty of time to head back to Dutch Harbour, get some more pots and then come back out again. Sea stars right here, you can see them in the background. Not ideal at all. Let's go, throw it in. Beautiful, good job. So it looks like we have um, old Kenny. Something you want? Let's see how the engineer report's going. Everything's working fine. That's good. What's up, Cap? How you going, Mike? Top of the Mike's doing good. So Carl's actually happy this time. Chico's ecstatic. Spike's a little bit happy. Sea Star's still a little bit close for my liking. Alright, so this will be pot number four. Setting down. Um, the plotter. I don't know if we'll be able to get them all in this one run. We'll see how we go. Once I've set eight pots in, we'll look and have we'll have a look and see. I think we should be able to get all sixteen in and not have them being too tired. I guess that's one of the other things you want to make sure the guys aren't too tired, which will probably just increase the risk of them you know, hurting themselves and stuff. Right, so yeah, I think pots seem a little bit close together, but I think they should still work out alright, I hope. So it'd be a lot better if we could actually come into here and get like a depth and stuff. Um, would be good to see. Uh, like try and follow temperature and a depth similar to what we do in Deadliest Catch the Game. I think that'll be a much better thing. Right, that's five pots in. It's taken the guys quite some time. So for Apelio season, I think a target is like 500 or 600 Apelio in a pot, maybe more. Because they're, they're a lot smaller crab, you can get a lot more in a pot. So I was actually watching um, Deadliest Catch today on um, something called Streamio or Stremio, S T R E M I O. It's an app you can download via PC and be able to watch things like Gold Rush, um, Deadliest Catch, and that sort of stuff for free um, on there. So I've been watching it on there and the guys are doing the King Crab, King Crab season, season 14 it was, um, I think 2017, 2017, and they were getting, you know, 40, 40 or 50 King Crab per pot, and they were bloody ecstatic, so, for us to get, you know, 60s, 70s and 80s, that's pretty bloody good. Still see the Sea Star over here, travelling a little bit quicker than we are. Have a look at the plotter. Yeah, I think we should be able to get all these pots in. Should be able to. Alright, so it's half the pots in there. Actually, no, that's only seven. Still got another nine to go. So, what I'm going to try and do is. Um, so, set these. All 16 pots or 80 pots technically in game down here head back to Dutch Harbour try and grab another 80 pots come back out maybe let those original ones soak for see how long it takes us to get these guys all put in the water making maybe let them soak for about 18 16 to 18 hours and then we'll start setting a second string and then at about day no, the 40 44 hour mark or something we'll start to bring the pots in and see how we did. Let's have a look and see where all the other boats are going. Lillibury is going away from there, but doesn't there's a great deal of crab up there. Bearing Star's up there too, the Northwestern's on his way up there. We're the only guy sort of down here, away from everywhere else. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Bad formation, strength display. Good, as I said, it'd be good to have a depth and that sort of stuff. Temperature and a depth so we can sort of go on the surveyor's uh, markings, but then also just try and find an optimal spot we think the crab might have moved to since the surveyors were there last. So these guys might be buggered by the time we get this done. It's about two and a half hours. Um, first string of eight pots. So it's probably going to take us, you know, a good five, five hours or so. Don't forget to hit the space bar. Or the horn here, the horn here, we hit the space bar on the keyboard. Right, nice long straight string. Z star's still over there, you can still see where he is, so we're quite close to each other. Seven pots to go, including this one. Good look. I think we're going to go close. Right, get him in, so there should be six pots to go. Um, okay. When we hit the edge of our marker on the map here, I'll we'll know that's where we need to stop. Hopefully, we at least got a few more pots in. That's obviously ten at the moment. Might only be able to get 12, 12 or 14 out of the 16. Guys have still got a decent amount of energy, so they're not, you know, buggered yet. Why did that one take so long? Bit of a stretch there. Was that that was a spike? Got Carl doing the bait. Oop, there goes Spike. It's for last overhead. Good on him. He's still good. He's right. All right. So one more pot. That'll be. This will be twelve. Still got plenty of time. time before we're hitting sort of the end of the marker where I want to stop. It's starting to get a little bit rougher out here now compared to what it was before. Is there any um well, there's a little bit of ice build up on the boat you can sort of see along the top here but it's not too bad so I'm not gonna worry about the boys and knocking that off when they're finished. Alright so we might throw Two more pots in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Might throw fourteen pots in a string. Get this one in and another one, and that'll do us, I think. Just about at our marker. Could have started a little bit further back, but oh, you don't you dare come down here. Or can't you see our bloody strings already here, you idiot? Ah, let's ring him up. Time to piss off. We're still working on it. No, I, I want to know how to fish is. I want to tell you to piss off away from where our bloody gear is. Let's look at the map. Try one more ring, why not? Well, let's go. We're sitting at about 480 RPM, um, 6.2 knots.
I don't know if that's um, you know, having the pots too close together or not. I guess we'll Sir? work that out. Um, right away. Let's get Spike to go and prepare a meal. So the guys have got something to eat when they're finished. Look, Tico's. So he's still happy, but they're starting to get tired now, I think. That's going to take him a good five hours to get the 14 pots in. This car with a bait, you can see his eyes are get, get closed. Alright, come on guys. Alright, now you can go back to bed. Good work. Alright, so we had 80 pots on board. We can go back and grab another 70. Try not to run over our pots. Wait for everyone to get inside. I think Carl just went ass over it again. I can, I can hear the wind, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's getting quite windy out there. Let's um, get back to Dutch Harbour. Dinner is served. Job. Where's he going? He's throwing pots in everywhere too. I don't know if we should it's going everywhere where we are. I don't know if we should run some in through here. Right, dock. Go to seventy pots. Right, let's um head back out. I think maybe. Come through to here. I don't know, because this he sort of sort of coming to where I am, and I don't want him to. Bloody painful. All right, let's head be this way. Let's go set some more pots. About four. Oh, it's so hard just to get to the number that you want to get to. There we go, 480. Set all these pots in. Go with our autopilot again. Good to get all these pots thrown in and at least see how these other ones go on with as far as soaking goes. There's some pots like right here. If you guys can see it overly well, there's a pot just there, a pot just here. So I don't know how we're going to go, but right, it's pot number one of our second string. Number two coming on board. Where are these other guys going? But nearly Mary's gone miles away from where he was. Better not be coming down here. It's a sea star off in the dish in the off off in the distance again. I wonder if anybody's caught anything yet. Yep, it's a little bit being caught. I don't know who's bringing their pots in yet, but. I guess they're doing a um, bit of a spot check. There we go. What number two in? Twelve to go. Right, so if we can get a good, have a good appeal there, season, we'll be able to upgrade our boat a little bit more. Um, get a better engine, better fuel economy, all that sort of stuff. We seem to be doing pretty good as far as fuel goes if um, 
Alright, what about you guys? Let us get there. Oh. I don't know yet. We... I don't know. We'll wait and see. Must be the sea star that's bringing in a few, a few of his testing pots, I guess. So I don't want to worry about doing that too much. Probably could have just let them soak for 12 hours and see how much crap we had in them. Alright, come on boys. Come on boys. Got Tico up here on the stack again. Old Kenny. Kenny working the crane. Mike and, Mike and Spike. Mike and Spike working, working the pots and the boys, and we got Carl doing the bait again. Still the old bait boy. Alright, there we go. A few more to go. Another 10. Should be pretty good. He's still doing his thing. Is he getting any more? Not yet. Hopefully, we can get a decent haul. The only thing we're going to have dramas with is we need to make sure that once we've got all these pots set that when the season starts to end we're going to have to get the pots in quick because we have to get the pots in, take the pots back to Dutch Harbour, dump them off to come back out and get our last string as well so we we'll have to be pretty careful so we can't load our whole boat up with all these pots of course. You see we're starting to get a little bit of ice now on the boat, still not too bad. Imagine the Cornelia Marie had a massive amount being up here. The Bering Star now would have a massive amount. Ah, oh, fuck it. Kenny's grumpy. Still grumpy. What now? Just let me do my job. Can't complain too much. Come to Papa. Hey, I'm feeling all. What's up? See, I'm see everyone's doing. What's up? Same old. Sir, good to go. Oh, everyone's happy. I don't know. We should be giving Kenny a bonus anyway. He's just a grumpy old bastard. He really is. Right, so we've got nine pots left. 26 hours into the season, no crab on the boat yet. And the other guys are drilling anything in yet. So I don't know what sort of number is average. What's a good good amount of a paleo crab? What's an average amount? You guys, if you, you know, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Throw that overboard. Eight pots to go. So I think this episode is just going to be a full episode of us really just um, setting our two strings I suppose. See how we go for time, we might be able to fast forward a little bit of time and, and bring in a couple of pots and just see See what sort of numbers we're on, whether it's going to be worthwhile stacking. Uh, resetting, I should say, or stacking and moving somewhere else. Still pretty close to us. Just one second. Alright. I don't know why, you already started throwing it in when I gave you the bloody toot. Alright, so, seven to go. This guys. Still a little bit tired, I guess. Kenny's got plenty of energy because he's really not doing much. It's more Spike and Carl that get tired the quickest. Mike's working hard too, he's certainly a good pickup, I think. Oh, what are you saying hang on for? You're ready to go. There we go. Six to go. Maybe I am pushing these guys too hard, but I really don't think I am. They might just be a bit soft, I think. Come on, 
guys, only five left. Nice and quick. So if you guys have got any suggestions of um, how we can look for crab any other different way other than just looking at the survey, um, let me know in the comments section as well. If you guys want me to time lapse a little bit, skip certain bits, let me know as well in the, the comments section. Um, we'll see what we can do. We've got now five to go. Let's have a look at um, plenty of room. I think we just we're running over. You know, there's other pots in the area. One just here, which isn't ours, which isn't going to help. Another pot just over here. Another one just here. It's like he's just throwing pots everywhere. The more pots just there. Unbelievable. Alright okay, guys, four pots to go. Maybe we should run over his pot. Then we'll probably end up getting a fine. Or having to pay him for his his pot or something, I don't know. Let's have a look and see. Still no one else is bringing in any, any crab yet. It's a shame that he's in the same area, especially with him trying the pots out in random spots like he is. The pot there. This one here, there's one there. Another one over there. Alright, three to go. Come on guys, three to go. I spot the set this on too close to his I think, but it's not even like in a in a proper row or anything. It's weird that like there's more there. It's these two. It's like he's just all over the place. He's coming back alongside side of our string so that one thing I don't think they really worry about too much in this game is um, we've already got you know pots in a certain spot and they want to set there they'll just set on top of us they don't care so what we might do is um, get them to break a little bit of ice as well before they they head to bed, I suppose. Should I go get a meal ready, Captain? Yep, go cook. Good idea, Spike. Well done. Oh, you get paid the big bucks. Alright, so the Sea Star's still going. He still hasn't picked up anything else. Second last pot. This string, and then be able to head off and see how our other string, our first string, is going to go. Should be up along here somewhere, I think. That might even... Yeah, that is actually our string. Like along, along here is our string. This isn't ours though. These couple. Or this one right next to ours. Let's hope we've got the better bait. But we're going to be fighting over the same crab, fortunately. Alright, last pot lads, last pot. Hopefully we'll be able to actually get him to smack away a bit of ice, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm worried about that, been so close to his bloody string. Even quite close to ours, unfortunately. Get him to throw this one in. Get him to break some ice. And then we'll see how they go. Right, I 
let's go full steam ahead start turning around where are the other boys going? Oh. a couple of them are going up on top to knock some ice off right so we need to sort of head Down towards there. Let's go autopilot. I was hitting away a little bit. I wonder if we can fast time a little bit. Well, that's done. All right, good. These can go go to sleep. Yep, good. It's fast travel. Dinner is. Good job. All right, so there's a little bit of fish being caught at the moment. All right, let's go 31 hours. We hit about 44. We wait till about 40, wait till we hit about 40. I think then we'll stop. Right, about now. Alright, let's um, slow the boat right down. Let's do a quick save, because you can never be too, too careful. Let's go and bring the pots up. Do more need wants to turn the light on. Hopefully, this first pot will be an indication if we're on something good or not. Can only hope so. The other boats have just started reeling these in, so about 90,000 pounds have already gone. Alright, uh, straighten up a little bit here. Alright, set our. Autopilot. It looks pretty good. Again, it's sort of hard to tell. It's a little bit dark, but I don't know how many we're going to need, you know? Five, six hundred, thousand. Guess we'll find out if they get excited or not. Doesn't look too bad. 289. Go set it back. Work out how full the boat is after that, I guess. Right, let's head towards the next pot. Let them keep sorting. Get about 1.5%. I'll be reasonably happy. go close 1.3 1.4 maybe not too bad so I don't know what the numbers sort of what good numbers are the paleo season um, average is northwestern I oh, see these guys how they're doing Pots are coming up blank. It's a... yep Quindley Marie I don't know yet we have... really bearing star Obviously, sounds like they're not doing a great deal, to be honest. Right, another pot, that's not too bad. Interesting to see what these other, these other guys are going to be like. Especially with this guy being in the area, these ones aren't going to be very good. Maybe we need to move sort of down here somewhere. This area. See how we go. If we don't get above 300, I think we might stack them. Might stack the pots. It doesn't look very good. It should be a little bit fuller than that. Oh, there we go. So it's not too bad. That might get us up to about 3%. Yeah, let's set it back. Why not? Right now, guys. We'll, um, we'll save it here. We'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. As I said, leave a comment. Let me know if you've got any ideas of where we should, shouldn't be fishing. Uh, that sort of stuff, what you want to see in the future as far as Alaskan Storm goes. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.